Hello, this is Maya and we're back again for the Saturday shave. So what am I going to be using today? I am still on signature soaps and today we're going to use, what's it called? <laughs> Leo, Leodis, Rose, Geranium, Clary, Sage and Grapefruit. It's a hybrid shaving soap, as you can see, and it's all with essential oils, all natural. I'll put the details at the end like I always do. I am going to lather up in the shave bowl. I am using my Evil Zebra. That's a yucky, and I think it's a 24 and my Kamasori with a feather blade. So I'm going to be very quiet because I haven't done this for a while with this one and it's the sharpest I have. So I'm going to be a bit... <laughs> I'm going to be concentrating. Right, let's get going. I have here my little measurement and I have here my knife to get the soap out. And here my, what do you call it, uh, you know, my lappin, there you go. So let's take the glasses off and let's go get on with this. Let's do it with the face. I'm not going to have a pre-shave on here. I was thinking about it, but I decided I wanted to use the soap as it is and see how that goes. Right, I have here my mirror, so I will be looking into the mirror. So let's see how this smells. Oh, very interesting. This is what it looks like, not used it ever. So take my little knife, take a little bit out. I've taken it out the corner there. Let's close it up. We don't want all the essential oils to escape. I am loving the scent already. It is not too floral. It is very interesting with the sage in there and the grapefruit. I'm trying to get this pushed down. I'm having problems with pushing it down. Here we go. <clears throat> it's a crop, it's a soft soap. Cream soap. There you go. And the yucky is a synthetic, so I don't need to. I don't need to soak this at all so I'm just going to dip it in the water here and let it drip off. I am going to add a teaspoon of water to my soap. That's five mils. Okay I'm going to do it bit by bit. I have now half a teaspoon in here. Shake out my brush. Here we go. I am loving this scent. It's very grapefruity. And with a hint of green and a hint of floral. I'm really liking this. As much as the aniseed one in a different way though. I was expecting it to be more rose, although the rose is coming through. I'm adding the rest of the teaspoon, so I have a full teaspoon in there now. Oh, 
Oops, did you see that? <laughs> I'm throwing lava around again. Let's adjust the camera. It makes it easier for me. There you go. That way the bowl doesn't wobble quite as much. I am not sure whether I'm going to do more than one pass because it's a super sharp blade and I have really not got that much to shave off because I already did on Wednesday so I might just do one pass but I want this to be super slick so I'm going to be adding can you see it's already coming together there's already a sheen there, but I want it to be more slick. Let's draw up another teaspoon. Okay, adding half. Now you can see what I mean, I have here one and a half teaspoons already in and it can take more water. It, you know, it's not, a good soap won't drown that quick. Yes, the rose and geranium is coming out a bit more, but it's still got that citrus smell as well. Fabulous combination. Can you see that? Okay, let's test for slickness. creating little peaks but I don't want too much peak I want more slickness today yes it is slick but I want it a tiny bit more so I'm adding s mm, another mill in so it's not quite two teaspoons okay let's go I want a tiny bit more slickness because I've not got a pre-shave on. Let's put the whole, so that's two teaspoons now in total. Let's work that a little longer. I'm liking the look and the sound of it. All right, let's have another test. Okay. 
yes, yeah, super slick. Not so much heavy lather, but super slick. Where did I put my towel? Here we go. Okay, here we go. Need to adjust the camera. Let's just put the hair up. is beautiful mm. <laughs> okay now I need to put my glasses back on Okay, now, deep breath, zen, let's go. Okay, it's been quite a long while since I've used this, so here we go. Let's get my hair out. Camera adjustment. Hope it doesn't fall. My husband's on the phone and he's next door, so you might be here him talking because he always talks very loud because he thinks everyone else is deaf I'm going to have to close the office door hang on a minute Thank you. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Next door, but three can hear what's going on. <laughs> okay, here we go. So in fairness, these feather blades, this is the Feather Professional, are not my favorite. For me, they're a bit too sharp for those with, for men with proper beards or with very coarse hair people. Um, for them, they're most probably good. Um, but I'm most probably going to have a little bit of, not razor burn, but yeah, most probably a little bit of a rash because it goes very close for, it's a bit too close for me. I prefer the mild or the Kai. But the slickness of this soap is superb. Mm, I don't know how I'm going to do this now. There we go. The glasses are a little bit in the way.
I find the curves always the most difficult as would anyone else I'm guessing So all I'm doing is wiping it off here if you want to know what I'm doing. I can feel it's super close here already. The one advantage to having a long handle like this is you can really grip it if you need to. With the Berka Chevette, for example, where you have the flip top, it's a little bit more unstable if you hold it out straight like that. And you have to get used to holding it if, if you're using it folded. Ooh, I'm lucky up to now guys this blade does make me nervous because I have cut myself before with it and that's a good bleeder the feather <sighs> so through that one <laughs> mm. let's see I can't see anything left now nah, I'd say this is BBS already I can't see a single hair on there so let me just wash my face I'll you know oh well it doesn't matter you can listen to the noise water noise can't you it's not so bad yes I'll most probably disappear let's get some really warm water now cool I'm not going to do a second pass round no second round for me. Let's just wipe this all off. I think I was super lucky. I can't feel anything stinging, which is great. Okay. Turn my face off. I am loving the scent of this. And there you see, I have now in my past videos I've had one and a half, one teaspoon, one and a half teaspoons, today two teaspoons and that slickness is like nothing else. I'll just hang my towel up. So I was almost certain that I could pull this off with the feather blade. Um, feather professional. 
and I was right. The slickness of this soap is just superb. You just need to make it a little bit thinner than you normally do. Unless you're super confident, then you can leave it with one and a half teaspoons. Um, I'm not that super confident with this blade. And especially, I haven't used this for a long while now. I don't know. One would have to look back. Is it maybe two months, three months maybe even? So that's the last time I used that. And I don't think I've ever shown it on the face. I've shown it on the arms and the legs. So let's have another quick. This is so. This is a lovely scent. I would say it reminds me a little bit, whilst I'm talking to you, I'm just going to put some aloe spray onto my face. I'm putting it into my hand first. It reminds me of those natural scents that came out in the 70s. 70s? 70s, early 80s. We used to get, you know, like these little sleeping pillows and things with all these natural, I don't know, was it rice or, or grains and things and they had scents in them for you to either sleep better or for you to de-stress. And this is definitely a de-stress scent. It's lovely. It smells all natural and the combo is absolutely perfectly balanced i am loving this it's not too floral it has a slight floral but citrusy scent Let me just take this off um i am loving it so that was that let's just give my face some rose water that will tighten up the pores as well and, has, and enhances that lovely scent and it's not stinging so I did well there Whew, I was super nervous I was super nervous with that blade I was thinking do I put a different one in but no I thought, no, let's give it the hardcore test. Now I'm just adding some Forever Moisturizer. I love moisturizing lotion. And I've got a little bit too much there, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Can you see, once again, that's just... <laughs> An indication how good the soap is the super fatting of this soap the cream takes quite a bit to soak in but with my normally dry skin <laughs> that normally goes and sucks it in straight away this you can still feel it fabulous so I think that was a success, a success, I can't even speak now. So give me a thumbs up, no bloodletting today. Oh, <laughs> I know you would like to see that, but I don't like feeling it. And especially not because my skin doesn't heal that quick, as you know. Um, what's this? Oh, it's a hair. It's all right. So... There you go, that's my weekend shave. Let's just quickly review what have I used, very quickly. And now, unfortunately, oh, that's, that's one downside to this soap, is that the labels, you know, aren't watertight, if anything. So don't do what I've just done is drip water all over. But here you go. That's the Leodis Hybrid Shaving Soap Grapefruit Clary Sage Rose Geranium Essential Oils. Rose Geranium. 
fine. I think I said that wrong in the first instance, but that is why it's so citrusy. It's a lovely scent. Um, can only recommend this scent. This is on par with the anise one that I did. Um, was it Vectis? I think it was the Vectis. Yes, the Vectis. Uh, the Valencia I also liked, but this I like better. Same as the Vectis I like better. Right, so use that. And then I tested with my aloe first, which also has a lot of healing herbs in, you'll see at the end of the video. I put on some rose water just to tighten the pores a little more and to give it that rehydrating uh, feel, although it's not really necessary with the soap moisturizing lotion. And love my evil zebra. That's from Yaki, evil zebra. That's my shave bowl or the bottom half of the shave bowl still the lovely scent and it's been stood here for I don't know how long this video has been but there you go it's still super frothy it's not falling to bits and you can get at least another three passes out of this it's just lovely so thumbs up for me if you want to show me a token of appreciation leave a comment below and I'll see you soon bye bye Oh, the Kamasori, of course, I've forgotten. So, sorry. Feather Kamasori with feather professional blade in it. There you go. That's what I used today.